Today we're talking about quantizing MIDI within Cakewalk by Band Labs. If you guys want to learn how to do this, stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sourcer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So that being said, today we are continuing along with my Cakewalk series and we are talking about how to quantize MIDI. So if you guys have never heard the term quantizing, that means that we are basically going to take our performance and we are going to time align it so that it lands perfectly on the grid and it's perfectly in tempo. It's basically going to sound like a perfect performance when we're done with it. And audio and MIDI can both be quantized. So if you guys are beginners to this and you guys are looking to learn how to record those first, I have a video popping up in the top right corner now on how to record audio and MIDI within Cakewalk. So check that out either now or after this tutorial. So back to quantization. Uh, what I did was I recorded a piano part and I played it a little bit at a time so that we could make this tutorial a little bit challenging on how to quantize it because the worse your performance is, the harder it is to quantize. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piano part and we're going to make it perfect by the end of this tutorial. So what I want to do first is let you guys hear it with the metronome so you can hear that it's a smidge out of tempo. And then I'll give you an idea what we are working with. So here we go. All right, cool. So that is what we are working with. And if you guys like the sound of that uh, piano, I think it's absolutely amazing. That is actually the new Spitfire Originals Firewood piano. And I just did a review on it and it is popping up in the top right corner. Check that video out after this tutorial. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to start quantizing this performance and we're gonna make it perfect. So I will show you how to do that from start to finish. All right, so there are two different ways to go about quantizing MIDI. So the first way would be strictly for good performances, performances that just have minor timing issues but are pretty close to being on the grid. So for those, you can simply click on the clip here, press the Q button on your keyboard, that will launch the quantize window. And then for your duration here, this is the most important thing you need to select. I can't tell you how to select it because it depends on the tempo of your song and how many notes you're playing and a couple other factors. So I will say that the 1 8th and 1 16th grid tend to be the most common. And for this song, I would assume it would probably be a 1 8th grid. So if I select 1 8th and then I hit OK, that is going to quantize my performance. So since my performance is not very good, it's not going to quantize it properly. So we don't want to use this option. So let me close it. So the second option would be to double click on the clip here and this will launch your piano roll. All right, so the first thing you want to do in your piano roll window here is make sure you have the grid that you want to work with. So looking at my notes, they look to be landing pretty much on grids throughout. So I think this one will work. So to either change it or to check what it's on, go to the view drop down here, go down to grid resolution, and then you can choose it here. So mine is currently on 1 8th, which I thought was gonna be the proper one. So we're gonna leave it there. And if you don't see these vertical lines, make sure show vertical grid lines is checked. So the other thing we wanna do is get rid of this pencil tool here. So I'm gonna drag this down and let's go to select because what we're gonna do is we're going to work in sections. So we're probably gonna do about four bars at a time. So what I wanna do first is highlight the section that I want to quantize. So we'll highlight this here. Then we'll press the Q button 
And then this gives us our option to quantize. We'll work on the 1 8th grid. So we're going to hit OK. And looking at this here, it looks like most stuff snapped properly, but maybe this node at the end is too early. So I'm going to unselect this. I'm going to go to the Smart Tool, and I'm going to move this over. And what you want to do is listen to your little passage here after each time you quantize it. So let's give it a listen. All right, so that's absolutely perfect. So let's move on to the next section. All right, so looking over this section here, I feel like I have a few notes that are gonna snap incorrectly. So I'm going to place those first before I quantize it. So let me do that. All right, so I think that is all of them. So let's actually try quantizing it now. Oh, looks like I might have missed one. So let me take care of that. Just always pay attention as you quantize. I'm looking at things as they happen, so I know what I need to do. All right, so let's give this a listen and see what this sounds like. Alright, so that is perfect. Let's move on to the next section. All right, so I think that is all of them. So let me highlight those and let's quantize it. All right, and it looks like all of those quantize okay. Let's give it a listen. All right, so that's looking good. Let's move on to the next section. All right, so I wanted to show you guys a quicker way to quantize this here. My performance is obviously pretty much early on every note. So what we can do is if we zoom in here, I'm sorry, zoom out, and this is our remaining stuff we have to quantize. Why don't we actually highlight everything? And let's actually just shift everything. And we'll kind of do an overview looking at it here. So it looks like the end of the performance here isn't too bad. So let's actually do Q and quantize and see where we're at. And let's give it a listen. Okay, so we got to fix the last couple notes here, but besides that, it's perfect. So let's see. These obviously are not ending on the grid, so let's shift this over. And then one of these needs to move over. Let me actually zoom in for that. So I think this needs to move over to here. All right, cool. So we just quantized that whole entire piano part in a matter of minutes. Of course, we could do it a lot faster, but I wanted to show it to you guys step by step. 
So let me let you guys hear it without the metronome, because I know the metronome is kind of annoying, and you guys can just enjoy the perfect piano performance. All right, there you go, guys. That is how you quantize MIDI in Cakewalk. Now, I know we went over it remotely quickly, so the one thing you just need to pay attention to is where your notes need to fall. So as you're kind of doing an overview on your performance um, and you start to quantize stuff, you should be able to hear when it snaps to the wrong spot, of course. So that's something you have to understand when quantizing MIDI, understanding music theory to some extent. Um, but really, it's just using your ear. So this is the same way you would quantize MIDI pretty much in any DAW, you know, PreSonus Studio 1.5, Pro Tools, etc. So I hope you guys learned a lot and I hope you guys found value out of this video. So if you did, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So if you guys have any further questions on quantizing MIDI, leave a comment in the section below. Otherwise, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.